Hey guys, my name is Daniel Dorville, and I'll be doing an informative presentation. Now, I am a publisher. I'm a self-published author. I'm not, I don't have two other fields I'm working on. I'm going to be telling you guys what is effective storytelling and why it's important and why it matters. Now, first of all, what is effective storytelling? I'm glad you asked. Effective storytelling, well, we can split it two words, storytelling, is sharing with stories that can have embellishments and usually tells a story that reflects people's culture and background and is very engaging. Now, effective. What I mean by effective? It's very, it connects to a psychological human condition. It's very personalized and you can connect. All right, oftentimes when you see stories, you can connect between the audience, between the character and you the audience. You're like, oh man, I feel, I feel very similar to that guy. All right, now to begin our activity. Effective storytelling is like a sandwich. <laughs> it is like a sandwich. And now what we have here is some parts of a sandwich. We have our bread. We have, let's pretend this is ham. And we have some lettuce. Now, what is the most important part of a sandwich? Go ahead. The meat. The meat. Okay, that's interesting. interesting. But the thing is, <laughs> if we don't have the meat, we toss the ham and the lettuce all together. We just have a salad. It's a trash salad, but it's a salad nonetheless. The bread comes together, tops it off, finishes it. So, why am I saying that? It's because the bread is like this is a part of the story. Like the story, bread is the most important factor. Right. Now, to move on. Effective storytelling is good and important because of our because it connects to our five senses, five senses. It's good for digesting new concepts and it's good for creative development. Well, that's why it's good for learning. So five senses. So oftentimes, well, I've lived in Florida my whole life. I've never seen snow, I've never touched snow, ever. So when I read books talking about it's cold, it's chilly, when you freeze, you feel like the touch, people stick out the tongue and they taste the snowflakes. I'm like, oh, okay, now I can understand how this feels. Right? Maybe you've never tried tea before. So they describe the scent. Oh, the scent is the scent is a nice calm breeze. You can feel the dew off of the, of the tea. <sighs> nice scent feel. All right, the moral coaster. Imagine how you describe the rush of a roller coaster without being there yourself. <sighs> Amazing stuff right there. Now, we're good for digesting new concepts right here. So let's say, well, why have we been over this with snowflakes? But let's say I've never been to Asia, another country. This is how they would grasp that. Different culture, imagine the sounds and talking about that. And creativity development. A lot of times when we're kids, we're the most creative we've ever been, and over time we lose that. But let's pretend we didn't lose it, right? A lot of times kids, they read stories and they're like, wow, man, did you see that story about that fire, that firefighter in the fire truck? Oh my goodness, I wanna write a story about that firefighter in that fire truck too! And that's where it comes into play. Story is another source where people are little, where little kids really just come in, they start writing up and starting stories, all right? Another reason why effective storytelling is important is because effective storytelling is profitable. Big money, big bread, okay? <laughs> so, we're gonna go over the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the video games, and Harry Potter. So, the MCU, the box office of revenue for the MCU in June 2022 was 26.6 billion. Now that's a lot of bread, way too much bread to count. And you can see these are the big show clusters, a series going along with Avengers, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, right? And now the decline. We have Marvel Phase 3 and Marvel Phase 4. <laughs> we were making so much money back in 2020. What happened? We kept dropping movie after movie after movie and the numbers keep dropping. Again, it's a sad era. They're making money, but not as good as they used to. And now for video games. Video games are expected, or and currently are, dominating the financial sphere. Movies, North American sports, just cannot compare to the amount of dough video games make. It's crazy.
crazy. Bigger money maker. It's crazy stuff happening. Crazy stuff. The numbers was so it's supposed to be around one one hundred seventy nine point seven billion in twenty twenty. Twenty percent more than the other fields combined. Crazy stuff. Harry Potter. Now this is what gets me. Harry Potter's writer just wrote a book. And you're telling me a book franchise made her a billionaire? It's crazy. It's crazy. No, no. Well, movie adaptations on the other side, of course. But just books, just words. No explosions, no moving pictures. It's not a graphic novel, guys. It's a book with words. Billionaire. It's crazy stuff right there. Storytelling, effective storytelling. And now, effective storytelling motivates and inspires. This is what I've been looking forward to. Have you guys heard of the gentle minions trend back in uh, early summer, summertime? Have you? No, none of you? Allow this short 29 second clip to enlighten you. And then after we'll go into non marvel fans. Right. Oh, we didn't play. Let me give you a breakdown of what happened. A lot of teens across the world in Australia, Singapore, Portugal, Canada, dressed up suit and tie to watch the Minions movie. And they came as the gentle Minions. Sometimes they had bananas in their hand. They were dabbing each other up, dancing. Nothing crazy. I mean, it was crazy, very crazy. But nothing too crazy and extreme. And Universal Studio was like, whoa, he loved you guys. Keep it up because there were some of those who were contact was not very gentle minion-like, throwing bananas at the screen, rowdy noises. But still, that movie motivated and inspired so many people across the world to move. That's effective storytelling. And now, now Marvel fans. Now, back in 2019, 2020, a lot of people were not watching Marvel. Well, a lot of people were watching Marvel, but it wasn't so mainstream. And then you saw all these fans and people who are non-fans coming together, watching movies together, sitting down on couches explaining, okay, this is what happened. This is how we got here. Whoa, this doesn't make sense. Infinity Stones, who the hell is Thanos? That's what was going on. Two sides, connected, not connected, merged together to form a union. Effective storytelling motivates and inspires non-fans to come together. And now we come back to the end again. Why is it so important? Effective storytelling is important because, because of its capacity to improve learning and development, because of its profitability, and because it motivates and inspires. Effective storytelling is like a sandwich. A sandwich has nutritional value, but effective storytelling has societal value. These are my references. Thank you for your time.